Hello, this is Brian Rosner with Biomed Publishing Group. Today I want to tell you a little bit about Royal Raymond Reif. He was a scientist that lived, oh, about 70 or 80 years ago. And when I tell most people that the most promising therapy I've found for Lyme disease is a Reif machine, most people say, what the heck is that? So one of my biggest challenges in providing the information that I provide is just basically to educate people about Royal Raymond Reif. Now, toward the end of this video blog post today, you're going to see a very, very fascinating and insightful video taken about 70 years ago of Dr. Reif in his laboratory, so stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, although Royal Raymond Reif is an obscure scientist who most people don't know about, and the machine he invented, known as the Reif machine, is also an obscure machine that most people don't know about, there has been quite a bit of literature written about him. This book here is called The Cancer Cure That Worked. It sold almost 50,000 copies in the last 20 years. And it's by Barry Lyons, who is an investigative journalist who basically chronicled the story of Royal Raymond Reif. Um, additionally, there are some other materials that have been written about the Reif machine and Dr. Reif. This is a book uh, called The Handbook of Reif Frequency Healing by Nina Silver, PhD. And it just basically talks about um, how Rife machines are used in modern times and a lot of the frequencies that people use with the machines. The Rife Research Group of Canada also produced a DVD documentary. It has two DVDs and it, you know, goes into a lot of video footage about Rife in his laboratory. Um, this is another great product that you might want to look into getting. Additionally, uh, my publishing group has published uh, two DVDs that um, are related to the topic of Rife and what he's done. Um, the first one is my interview with a man named Doug McLean, who was actually the first person ever to use Rife technology to treat Lyme disease. That was about in 1987, and this takes place at the uh, Rife International Health Conference in Seattle in 2006. At that same conference, uh, Dr. Richard Lloyd, PhD, um, conducted a presentation on different types of Rife technology and how they're used, different frequencies and that type of thing. So even though Rife technology and Rife technology for Lyme disease is fairly obscure, there are some ways that you can educate yourself so you're not so in the dark about it. Now if you'll stay tuned, I'd like to uh, show you a little video of Rife in his laboratory, kind of make it more personal so you can see what he did and, and who he was about. So I'm Brian Rosner with Biomed Publishing Group. And if you want to learn more about these resources, you can do so at limebook.com. That's L-Y-M-E-B-O-O-K.com. And I also want to remind you that I am a journalist, not a medical professional. So these videos are for informational and educational purposes only. They're not for medical advice. Thanks, and now stay tuned for the video. Turn the light on. Oh, yeah, you got it. This is the Rife Research Laboratory in Point Loma. This is, this is Royal R. Rife. The research scientist of this laboratory. Here are reviews of the Rife Research Laboratory at Point Loma, California. The uh, ocular that you see on the left side in the middle of the instrument, when that was in, plugged in, made it a standard microscope. Now, in isolating cancer virus in 1931, Reif took an ulcerated human breast mass from the Paradise Valley Sanitarium donated by Dr. R.T. Hamer, who was assistant superintendent of the Paradise Valley Sanitarium and Hospital. Portions of this tumor were cut out and uh, filtered through a triple-aught porcelain Birkfeldt filter, which gave about 10 micron uh, filtration. The virus could readily pass through a filter of this degree of closeness. The test tubes that are in, that are used are shown here are irradiated for 20. The next picture shows the injecting of the cancer virus in the rat. The mammary gland was used of the rat because it came out of the mam mammary gland of a human breast mass. The rat was given a partial anesthesia to avoid the shock of the needle. 
and the virus was injected in the rat. Cancer tumors to grow, and uh, there you can see the tumor in the rat. He would surgically remove the tumor and treat the rat with his ray tube instruments, which frequencies would devitalize the cancer virus without harm to the human or the animal cells of the rat. Rife used high powered glasses for his operations. in order to get down to fine details of the removal. The tumor is tied off and cut away in which they made of the cancer virus. These uh, cancer uh, materials were Motile, streamlined shapes like a fish, which Rife said would travel at speeds of 400 miles per hour if it if energy 10 to 12 miles in the whole around the whole area. And this shows the virus after it's been treated with the ray tube instruments, which has a